Drug smugglers go to great lengths to conceal their contraband, making it as tough as possible for lawmen to see their illegal shipments. But now, U.S. Customs agents may actually be able to hear drugs. Seattle Bureau Chief Matt Markovich joins us live. Matt, how does this work? Well, Erica, it's called the acoustic inspection device, and basically it combines the benefits of a sonar and x-ray into a handheld unit. It allows you to see inside a container, and it can tell you what's actually inside that container without ever seeing it. It actually knows the difference between Coke and Diet Coke. It's a game of hide and seek. Customs agents searching for contraband in shipments on the docks, at the airports, and at the borders. But agents can't look inside every container, drum, or tank car. So we're going to try and find out what's in this tank car. Yeah, and the first thing we want to do is we want to determine the fill level. So scientists at the Pacific Northwest National Laboratory in Richland, Washington, have designed an acoustic inspection device that can see inside containers of all sizes. We picked a random tank car. The instrument could measure specific material properties, acoustic velocity and attenuation, and determine for the operator whether or not the fluid inside the tanker was indeed orange juice or whether it was liquid cocaine laced. It's a kind of super sonar sending out ultrasonic pulses and analyzing the return echoes. You press the trigger and the gun instantly sends sound waves through the tanker wall up through the liquid contents. It uses the fill level surface as a reflective surface. An echo comes back to the gun. The timing and frequency of the echoes is compared to a database stored in a pocket PC attached to the unit. It tells what might be inside. In the case of this barrel, it was water. I received 1.48 and water is 1.48. Diet Coke is 1.49. Of course, the idea is to find stuff inside the barrel, like contraband. And contraband, in this case, will be this cement brick. As you can see, that first signal is showing up way sooner than the signal we were getting with the water, meaning that there's something in there. The nice thing is it's non-invasive and it's non-hazardous. It, it works similar to an x-ray. It's able to propagate through materials, but it's not hazardous to the user, and it's, it's very easy to apply in the field. The unit can also detect bulk solids, but it can't identify air-filled or gas-filled objects, and it can't see through double-walled containers. In the case of this tank car... Now, we're not getting any echo back. That indicates that there's no fluid in the tanker car. We have an empty tanker car. The U.S. Customs Service is testing the unit and will decide later this year whether it will deploy the acoustic inspection device. And there is a contract pending to mass produce the acoustic inspection device, but that all depends, Eric, on how well it's going to do in these field tests by the U.S. Customs Office. Incredible. Can it actually tell the difference between Coke and Diet Coke? And Pepsi. Uh, that's right. Uh, scientists basically are basing, uh, taking up, uh, uh, doing a, building up their database, I should say, of attenuations of various bulk solids and liquids, and they're going to put that into the unit. Uh, as for Coke and Diet Coke, it actually can tell the difference in the sugar level in the in Coke and Diet Coke. It's uh, more sugar actually has a slower acoustic level. So really, Eric, I can't wait to pull out one of these things next time they ask me to take the Pepsi challenge. You know, that's what I was just thinking. <laughs> There'll be no challenge at all. Matt Markovich in Seattle, thanks. You're welcome.